dear Santa, just to remind you, I've been a perfect angel this year and deserve lots and lots of presents. No. You know what? I vaporized my sister. I mean, her finger was on the trigger, but let's not get in the weeds about it. I know you'd expect the old me to joke about how gross and annoying she is, and how this could be seen as a good deed. But the honest truth is, I looked at her stocking, the music swelled, and, and now I miss her terribly. As I look over my list of presents I want, I realize I don't need any of them. I trade them all to have my sister back. Santa, please, my only wish is for Meg to be returned safely. I don't need anything else this year. That's not naughty, that's adorable. You're back? Yeah, I don't know what happened last night, but I had a pretty crazy dream. And I woke up hogtied under the Christmas tree. Ugh, I should probably lay off the nog next year, huh? You must have a lot of questions. Nah, eh, as long as I get a bowling alley calzone, I'm straight. I don't believe it. It's a Christmas miracle. It's also the first night of Hanukkah. Yeah, it's a Christmas miracle. Are her, are her legs on backwards? Eh, yeah, close enough. Rush job. Busy night for Santa. Move, move, move! Yay! A stick! Now, I think that's for Brian. Oh. Lois, I got you something special. I know you've been missing this. <gasps> My Christmas brooch! Where did you find this? I could lie, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. Under the couch pillow! Peter? I gave it away at a white elephant at work, and my boss gave it to his elderly mother, and I snuck into a nursing home with the guys to steal it back. So your Christmas gift to your wife is something that she already owned. I also got you a mouse pad that says World's Greatest Mom. Peter, I have a laptop. That's fine, because I didn't really get it. Oh, Peter. The important thing is we've run out of time for me to be annoyed. Morning breath kiss in front of the kids? Mm. 